Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. So in this build, I'm gonna walk you through an insane new hunter exotic chess piece called Amnaculus? Amnaculus? I'm the, I think it's Amnaculus? I'm not sure, but we're gonna go with that. With this exotic, you can create some incredible neutral hunter builds that will keep your fire team safe during premier endgame content. I've already used this for solo lost sectors, dungeons, exotic quests, and nightfalls, and plan to utilize this for the upcoming Grandmaster Nightfall. This exotic and build will probably replace my all-time favorite Sith Coyote based builds that up until now have been killer for all PvE content. If you like this video, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. So first off, how do you get this armor? Well, this is just like the armor, the exotics you've had for the last few seasons. You get this from doing high-end law sectors, either Legend or Master. The rotation of where the armor shows up and whether it's chest, arms, or other things, there's a couple places on the internet where you can find that. But again, the other thing is if you just log in every day, you'll be able to see that and then get through that lost sector and you have a chance of getting it. For me, I think I ran it about five times I got it, so it's not really that hard of a grind for something that's, that's very overpowered. So let's talk about the perks here. So as you know with this channel, I do a lot of builds around neutral game hunters, and a lot of that's around Six Coyote. And with Six Coyote, you obviously get the ability to double dodge, and with your bottom tree Night Stalker, and that paired with Six Coyote will actually allow you to go invisible a lot, protect your, your friends with your um, Heart of the Pack buff and things like that. But this exotic does a little bit different, but adds quite a bit to that particular loadout. Its main perk is Beyond the Veil. Gain a second smoke bomb, and have damage resistance while invisible. Making an ally invisible, they gain damage resistance while invisible and you gave melee energy. So again, let's talk about why this is, is really overpowered. First off, the key for this one, for me, is to run bottom tree Night Stalker and PvE. Now, you could run top tree, you could even do middle tree, and I'll probably talk about those builds in the future, but this, to me, is probably the ideal way in these sort of endgame content. The extra smoke bomb will help you keep you and your fire team invisible, which obviously in these sorts of activities is, is useful. With Gambler's Dodge and a high mobility, you'll be able to frequently dodge your enemies and gain your melee again. This is typical again of a Sixth Coyote base build, but the difference here is that when you make others invisible, not only do you give them Heart of the Pack, which you already did, to regenerate their abilities and keep them invisible, you give them damage resistance, which is new while you're invisible and while they're invisible. And while that happens, you get melee energy back to start over. So you obviously get stuff from dodging, right? That's, that's a native ability on your Hunter, but you also, as you make your, your friends invisible, you also get that energy back, which again gives you melee, which is your smoke bomb, and you get to go through the, the whole cycle again. You can just see the synergy in, that, in this part of the build. What I'm gonna talk about next is my mod loadout that I used. Again, that'll allow you to throw your smoke bomb and regenerate your grenade faster in your super as well. So again, while this is primarily a neutral hunter build, right, and a healer and someone who supports his teammates, those will also allow you to do a lot of damage. The grenades on the Hunter are pretty pretty good. And then even though Tether is not the most offensive-minded super, if you can continue to hit with the multi-tether on your enemy, not only do you suppress them, but it also does a great amount of damage and it allows the rest of your, your people in your fire team to do a great amount of damage. The other thing that I did, um, I tend to do this with all of my chest piece armor for my Hunter is um, I made an arc. That way I can use Powerful Friends on it and Lucent Blade if I'm using a sword-based build. Again, you don't have to do that, that's just something I did. So again, uh, similar to some of my other builds I've done recently, the, the base of this build is, first off, for your general mods, I use Resilience and Mobility mods. Again, in PvE endgame content, you want to be as resilient as possible, and the mobility helps you get your dodge back. I also use Taken Charge, so I gain charges on the orbs. So because of that, you want to make sure you use as many masterwork weapons as possible, because getting orbs will allow you to just build those charges of light. On my solar based armor pieces, I use supercharge for two additional stacks. And again, I use taking charge as well. Now with this, with the build I have, because I have a couple of the, the supercharged uh, mods on different pieces, I'm actually able to get the five stacks of, of light. So that's, that's pretty good. I have a void piece of armor, which I use protective light. When your shields are destroyed, you get protection that lasts longer depending on the stacks you have in your character. So again, if you get those five stacks, of charges of light and you happen to lose your shield then you get that that protection for a long period of time and then again on my arc piece of armor i do powerful friends which allows you to get additional mobility which again is really useful not just a little bit 
like 20 additional if you have another arc mod equipped. On my helmet and boots, I use ammo finders and scavengers depending on what I'm using. On my chest piece, I try to use concussive dampener because typically in almost any of these end game content scenarios, you typically have area effect weapons being used on you, fire, or arc attacks, things like that. So that comes in really handy. And then on my class item, I use distribution, which reduces all ability cooldowns when using your class ability in your enemy. So since you're gonna be dodging constantly, getting your smoke bomb back, using your smoke bomb, you're going to get your other abilities quicker. And again, that's where the synergy comes in this build. So while this is very similar to some of the Sith Coyote builds, it's very different in that it offers the ability to give even more protection, not just to yourself and to your entire fire team. Because again, in end game content, PVE content, really what you're trying to do for the most part, you want to do damage, but the most important thing is to stay alive because typically you're limited on number of revives or if the entire team wipes, you go back to orbit. So that's where you kind of need to make sure. And this helps you do that. And that's the video guys. Again, I would rush out whenever you get a chance, check those lost sectors. Make sure you see when the chest armor is available for the hunter again. It's a really cool new utility. Like I said, it almost replaces Six Coyote, which is one of my key components in almost all my builds. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me out. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.